today I was just listening about uh, uh, music on my uh, local radio and uh, I had this news on albinoism, they ha having their worldwide awareness they saw today and I'm going there to shoot today. So let's go, let's go. You will watch this video about albinoism and you will know how to survive, how they survive using their cosmetics, how what they use, the heart, like they put on hearts to prevent them from sunshine. I'm Peter Geek, the executive director of Source of the Nile Union of Persons with Albinism, an organization that advocates and provides practical services to persons with albinism. Today we joined the entire world to celebrate International Albinism Awareness Day. This day was given by the United Nations after seeing how the rights of persons with albinism were being abused. So this day we are there to raise awareness about the condition, but also to reflect on the achievement, but also on what is being, uh, what is needed by persons with albinism. So that's why we are today here and joined by different uh, people with albinism from different parts of the world and the country as well. Albinism is not known by many people, you know, that's why there were lots of misperception and peop other people thought that maybe when you have albinism, you're sort of well, others, they take it another way of thinking that maybe if they, you get anybody parts of person with albinism, you may become rich faster. Those myth has really uh, put the lives of persons with albinism in a very terrible situation, even to think that uh, they, they are not human enough to be in a society because people are looking at them as a source of wealth. As an organization, we're trying so much to demystify the myth and myth and misperceptions attached to the condition, but also empowering persons with albinism in different way in their livelihood, improving the education status, seeing that they can get jobs just like anyone else, but also improving their uh, health status. As person with albinism, our skin misses melanin, which exposes us to uh, to the sun quickly, which in later brings cancer on us. And this is only can be prevented by putting on wide brimmed hat, just like mine, long sleeved clothing, but also putting on the sunscreen lotions and using cryogun, the machine that we use to freeze precancerous cells. 
as organization who works so hard uh, to try to uh, reduce the rate of skin cancer among persons with albinism and more so in Busoga sub-region. However, the machine that we started with, the prior gun, uh, was getting old and today on the International Albinism Awareness Day we were able to launch a new one which we think will help us to reach more other districts. However, this is an NGO. We are just a small NGO to help us to, you know, to mitigate the skin cancer. Because uh, if you really see the precancerous cell and freeze it using the cryogun, it kills it and gives you a chance of not getting a cancer. As persons with albinism, yeah, many still people misunderstand us and uh, think that we are not human enough and they don't include us in many issues. Uh, in societies but this is my appeal to you to know that we are all created in the image of God we are the same people you know being white doesn't mean that I'm less human I'm just human just like you have the same feeling just like you can fall sick just like you so we are all the same people in fact if they mute and you just hear only my voice you may not know that I have albinism so that's mean that we are the same if you find the two skeletons of, of the so-called normal person and this person with albinism, all the skeletons are the same. So what we all need is love, acceptance, and being included in all things just like anyone else.
Thank you.